One, two, three. World. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to our channel. As you can see, there are some items on the table. These cups that are usually filled with water are now empty. <laughs> What? And where's the candle, Jerrica? Oh, we're too sophisticated for that now. What? Because you want to know why? Because we are wine experts. Yeah, it's true. And we're going to teach you how to wine. Welcome to Wine for Dummies. I'm your host, Jerrica. And I'm your other host, Scott. Today, we'll be taking three different types of wine. The first one is called Smooth White. Let's try the one. It smells good. Okay. Mm. I'm going to dribble it in. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Oh, you want that to happen. That's the bad stuff if it doesn't go in. First, you fill a half full. And then you proceed to fill it the rest of the way up. Okay, and then you dribble. Something's gonna get out. That's the bad stuff. And then you proceed waterfall. Oh. That there was a lot of bad in that one. Alright, so first you sniff it. What does it smell like to you? Mine's alcoholic. -y. Yep, it smells like um, a wild desert flower. Oh, I really like that smell. And you stick your tongue and do something like a dog. Disgusting. Mm, it's very smooth and white. <laughs> Swirl it around. Swirl it around some. Swirl yours. Swirl yours. She doesn't have the technique like me. <laughs> I took a wine tasting class in Italy and they said do this. We're gonna take a small sip. And you swish it around your mouth. <laughs> now fit it back in your cup. Mm. How do you feel about that? It's smooth and it's white. <laughs> now proceed to take a very large amount and swallow it without even tasting it. Mm. Very, um... It's smooth? But something else, too. And... And wine! <laughs> Cheers! And if you have any left, please finish it. Those of you just joining us now, we are moving on to our second tasting. Jerrica? Oak Ranch Estate White Ziffendale. What does Zinfandel mean exactly? It means Oak Ranch Esteem. A blend of wines from California and Canada. Wow, how multicultural. I know. And you should not know anything what that means because you're not a wine expert like we are. You really can't comprehend it unless you have the extensive background that we do. You need decades of experience. Decades? You're not even a decade old, but you're so good at it. A decade's 10 years. <laughs> you just need to know. You need to be at least three to even know. So and we are. So. Let's try this one. Please explain your process. Cut the bottom, hold the shaft. If you want, rotate it in your hands. I like how it bubbles. All right. How do we drink this one? Smell test first. <sighs> Should I put my nose in it and smell it? Try it. Now that my nostrils have tasted it. The dog pass. Yes. I do not mind that taste. Let me taste it. No, we do the swish test. She is always my, my saving grace. Anytime. Cheers, me. Cheers. Oh! 
Put that back in your glass. <laughs> Take a few, a few. You don't want to get drunk. Gulps. Why? Why, I never had something so delightful. It is so, so great. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like a new person. I need to make an ode to wine. Ode to wine. Um, you make life so divine. Oh. Drink it up, and then don't remember what the rest is. Cheers, me. Love it so much. It tastes like a summer's eve when the wind is blowing through your locks and you feel as though everything is right in the world because truly everything is. Cheers, me. If you followed my process, you would have lost all sense of smell, which really helps if you hate wine because you cannot smell the alcohol and therefore you cannot taste it. Mm. Cheers me. How are you feeling after your second glass of wine? I feel like I've just been birthed into the world. I feel like I've passed through a canal of hope and lust and, and serendipity. I am so glad that you said that. Oh, Scott! <laughs> Cheers, me! Follow the full process of, a process of getting the wine. You must, and I repeat, must fill it to exactly this point the second time. If you do not, if you, I repeat, do not do it, why are you watching this video? I must say, for your second glass, you must share with your partner. Scott being my partner, I'm sharing with you. And Jack being my partner. And now we link arms and. Okay. Scott. Jerrica. Cheers, me. Welcome back to Wine for Dummies. Now, if you're just joining us, we have we have already tasted a smooth white. And we just tried the Elk Ranch Estate White Zinfandel. And out of the two, I must say, I prefer my wine white and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> For our next wine, we will be trying a pink Moscato. Now, you might think, Scott, did you say tomato? <laughs> no, silly, I said Moscato. <gasps> Oh, it's got even, it's even got your name in it, Moscot, Scotto. Please maintain your, um, please maintain yourself. We must follow this technique. Can you see? Is the camera close enough? Use your upper arm, your four strength. Anything that doesn't go in, you don't want. And you must do this process until it's full. Not, do not have rear end, for lack of a better word. <laughs> you will notice after your first glass, after you're about halfway full, you want to increase the rate and speed, and then you just slowly just wank it until you're done. I'm so inspired right now. I don't know about you guys, but I am so inspired. Okay, so you want to take your pink mascara and what are you gonna do? Cheers, me. That's what you're gonna do. So first, as you will know, as I hope, smell the wine. Oh my god. Goodness. I feel so rejuvenated. I feel like there is something running through my veins. And I think it's a raspberry moscato. The dog test. Lapping up. Sipping, sipping, swirling around your mouth. Mm. I 
quite like that. How did you? I must say, it was something I wish to taste again. Now we shall. Go on! Can I swim? The technique for drinking this wine is actually quite different. Put, it, put your wine glass down, grab it, it down. by the shaft. By the shaft, hold it thick. Cut the bowl. Some people are really advanced and can just take it in one gulp, but for people who are just, you know, I'm there, I'm very advanced. <coughs> However, if you really just want to taste it, and really acknowledge the wine. Be the wine! We would like to introduce a topic that we have been discussing vividly and proactively. It is the process of mixing. There and are two words that you need to know if you want to be a professional wine taster. Yes, please. There it's is fine. neat. It's by itself. Mixed. You simply mix. Okay, so our, 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 we would like to mix our, 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 our smooth white and our, our pink Moscato. The, to, to truly do this, you must, you must use two hands. You, you may not use two people. You may have your partner open the other one. You must find it in yourself to do this by yourself. God! Cheers, me. Both. And kiss them. We, we call this um, a kiss. They're both at their tips, and, and then you simply separate the kiss, and forever they will be reunited in your glass. Scott! Mm -hmm. We must <laughs> smell. Nice. Dog taste. Scott! Cheers, me. Go! You skip the, the, the swishing process when you mix. It's pointless. Okay, so if you're still with us and you haven't called the cops, thank you and thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We had a shit ton of fun. Um, say that again without a swear. We had a crap ton of fun making this video. Please comment, subscribe, you know, the regular. And then we hope you enjoyed this again and have a fantastic day. Yeah, and obviously if you do follow our, our tips and tricks, which are very professional, we do ask that you drink responsibly. Make sure you are your legal drinking age or whatever country you are wanting. Bye!